Alright, good morning everyone. Little me, me and Isaac today, we're out at the Hills Golf Club at Jim Boomba. Just going to play in 18 holes, probably play off the whites today. It's still pretty long out here. And yeah, I'm going to see how I go, still work on that new swing. I will score, but it's going to be what it is. Let's get into it, first hole. Alrighty guys, hole one. 491 meter par five, slight dog leg left. It's gonna take a driver, hopefully over those bunkers with a slight draw. All right guys, second shot here. Uh, just down to the rough a bit. I went a little bit long through the fairway. I got an eight iron. I'm just going to try and lay up. It is a par five. It's a great shot. It's got 84 meters. Pen's tucked a little bit right. I've got a 52 degree wedge. Just going to try and put this close, make a birdie. It's a great shot. Hole two here guys, 200, oh sorry, 337 meters. Tees are a bit forward today. Um, I've actually left my seven iron at home. So I'm just gonna hit a six iron. It's about 160 to the end of the fairway. One thirty five meters uphill. Um, lucky I didn't go into the dam there. I got very lucky it kicked left when it hit the fairway. This is going to be a very tough shot though. It's Go onto a tree. Go down. As you can see guys, I've got very lucky here. The tree stopped it. I thought it looked like it pulled up quite quick. This one's for you, Bretto. 9-9 nine -nine, rather than a 51. 54 degree wedge. I'm going to try and bump and run this to the hole rather than chunking it into the dirt. Still caught it a little bit fat, but I'm on the green. Hopefully make that. Oh, that was looking good. Hole three, guys. Par three. 149 meters to the middle from where I'm standing. I really need my seven iron. I don't want to go over the back, so I'm going to hit an eight iron, hopefully hit this green. It's another great shot. Middle of the green. Okay guys, that's where I've landed there, then nice divot. Rolled out to here. Got myself about, what, 15 meters. See if we can roll this bad boy in. Okay guys, hole four here, 355 meter, par four. Just gonna take it over this ridge here. There is a fairway bunker up there. I've got a two iron. All right guys, this is where I've ended up. I've laid up just short of the bunker like I wanted. It wasn't the best two iron shot there. It come out of the toe a bit, but still went straight. Uh, got 140 to the middle of the green. It's a front pin. So I've got an eight iron, hoping to hit this just 140 on the money. On the green. Great shot. That's what I've left myself with there, fellas. Just over here. Great shot there from that tight lie. 
See if we can sink this putt for a birdie. Sit down, settle, settle. Off you go. Alrighty guys, that was another par though. I'm hitting the ball very well today. Par four, number five, uh, 360 meters. There is water there to carry with a driver. It's, I've, it's, I probably could do it from here, but I'm not hitting my driver confident and I'm still working on ice, so that's what I'm aiming for. I've got 188 to the water. I'm gonna hit a six iron, just lay up. One ninety meters, I got a four iron. That's right at it. Alrighty guys, that is one of the best shots I've hit for a while. <laughs> From one ninety out with a four iron, I've left myself this for birdie. I'm absolutely stoked with that shot. I'm actually stoked with nearly every shot I've hit today. Let's see if we can roll this in. Dead end. Uh, greens are actually quite quick today for the hills. They're normally not this fast. Oh, you're kidding. Three putt bogey, what you don't want on that hole. Okay guys, hole six here, par five, 520 meters from where I am. Okay guys, this is my second shot. I've missed the fairway left over here, that's the fairway. Not too, in a too bad spot. I've got 247 left. I'm gonna take a six iron. I don't have my seven, I probably need it, but I'm gonna try and just go over this tree here and leave myself a wedge into the green. Got very lucky there guys, I cleared the trees and left myself about 90 meters to the, 90 meters to the green. Sorry guys, that's Isaac just saying hello to the kangaroos. Yeah. <laughs> about 84 meters to the middle of the green. It's a back pin, it is a big green. I don't want to go long, I want to walk away with a par. I've got a 54 degree wedge. I'm going to go for the flag. Um, it shouldn't go long. I'm going to take this probably straight out and try and two putt. <laughs> it's not. All right, guys, that was a pretty lucky pass save there. That putt was sketchy, but I tucked it in the left side. Hole seven, par four, 300 and about 325 meters from where I'm, where the tees are there. There is a creek down there to cover. I can cover it from here, so I'm gonna take driver and try and land where that card is, hopefully. Oh, it's a bit sketchy. Alrighty guys, so the ball's obviously come down here somewhere, hooked into here, gone into the water, I'd say. I can't find it over there. So I've taken a drop. I've got a very tough shot here. As you can see, I've got a three iron in my hand. I'm gonna try and bump this to the green. Um, and I've gone straight into the bunker. 
Oh no, it's just slid up short. Alrighty guys, I've got about 30 meters to the flag here. I've got to land this short and let it roll a hole and try and tap it in for a bogey if possible. Very tough shot here. Hit it to sink it. That double bogey there came from poor decision off the tee. Yes, it's an easy driver over the water for me, but I'm not hitting my driver that well and confident enough to do that. I should have taken a seven iron or an eight iron and laid up or hit a two iron. I probably still would have carried the water or even a three would. Poor decision, cost me a double bogey. Okay guys, I'm fortunate double bogey there on that last hole. Got eighth hole here, par three, 165. So it's probably playing 165. Oh no. Oh, They're gonna drop. Um, not the ideal situation on par three. That was just the old swing coming back. <laughs> but um, that's right, it's gonna happen. Yeah, I got this for bogey. Oh. Guys, ninth hole, half four, 400 meters. Gonna go straight at that sprinkler with a two iron. So guys, my ball was just here. Um, I can't even take relief to the side because the bunk is soaking wet and it's soaking wet there so I've actually had to bring my ball forward. I know that's probably not the right thing to do but like you can see the puddles. <laughs> Here comes the sprinkler. So I've got 160 out. Fellas are still on the green and I've got a six iron on my hand. See if we can fly this on. Just a rush shot because I'm about to get wet. Alright guys, that was very unlucky. Very unfortunate. That sprinkler was on. I had seconds before I was about to get drenched, same as my camera. Some better. Keep pulling across the ball today with my wedges and they're pushing right. Get in. Oh. Alright guys, I'm going to end part one there. I'm going to do this in two parts, just to make it not as long. I think I finished with an eight over. Not too bad considering I had, I think, a triple and a double or two doubles, so two really bad holes there. Let's see how we go on the back nine. Tune in for part two.